Hey YouTube, here I am. Um, this is my new digital camera. It's a Kodak M1063, 10.3 megapixels, and this is my first video. So if you want to comment on the video and audio quality in the uh, bottom of the YouTube window, that would be super. Thank you. So here we go. We've got the HP Compact NC8230. It's a couple years old now. It's a business machine. I've got it. I got it about two years ago, it was about a year old then, and it's been a really, really great laptop. So let's boot it up, and I'd like to show you what I've got running on it right now, which might actually be, excuse me, the first video review on YouTube of the HP Compact NC8230 running Microsoft Windows 7 and Windows Vista. Well, You've probably seen Vista, so let's start off Windows 7 here. This is a Alpha build, build 6801. This is the 32-bit edition, and it's the best software I've ever used. My friend has it too, and he says that it's very slow, and he doesn't like it. He, he said he ran tests against Vista, um, PC Mark 05, I think. And uh, he said Vista scored a lot better. Well, I have not run those tests, but from everyday computing, Windows 7 is about twice as fast. And as you can see, the boot-up speed is pretty good here. Uh, I'll just go over a couple specs of this machine. It's got 2 gig of DDR2, 800 megahertz RAM. It is 800 megahertz DDR2. Um, that's again 2 gig. Um, processor is Intel Pentium, Pentium M. Yeah, Pentium M750 of 1.86 gigahertz L2 2 meg cache. It's a solo core, so just 1.8 gigahertz. And the hard drive is aftermarket. It is a Western Digital Scorpio 120 gig 5400 RPM. And it's a pretty good hard disk. So here we go with this is Windows 7 build 6801. I've got several reviews of this operating system, so please check those out if you'd like to see in depth. Um, but I have the super bar enabled down here, as you should be able to see. And Windows 7 is really, really, really good. So let's open something here. Let's open Google Chrome default web browser and then if we go d down to the bottom right hand corner there's that little place there that kind of looks like the start menu didn't go over to the end of the screen well it did if you highlight that it takes you to your desktop it kind of trans it makes the window transparent just mouse over it don't click it or if you click it then it'll just minimize that and then you're down in your desktop by the way this machine only has a 64 meg video card and it runs Windows Arrow better than my 128 meg video card and my HP Pavilion DV6809WM. And I really do like this video card. Everything's transparent up there. Let's open up. What is this? Windows Mobility Center. You can definitely see that it is transparent. And it's it's not even slow at all. If we go open Windows Experience Index. It did not score very well. If you can see that, it's a 2.1. Well, that's way out of focus, sorry. Um, but the processor didn't even score that well either. I think it's a 3.8. Yeah, it's a 3.8. Boy, can't see that at all. I'm sorry. Well, processor is a 3.8. RAM is a 4.4. Graphics, 2.1. Gaming graphics, surprisingly, a 3.8. And the primary hard disk is a 5.2, because it is newer. And it's a pretty good hard drive. So this thing runs Windows 7 really, really well. And if anybody has this, you'll be glad to know that you'll be definitely able to run Windows 7 on it, providing they don't make a whole lot of changes between this, this copy and whatever's going to be the final release of it in about, about a year. And that, this is real. I'm, I, I did not spend three hours in Photoshop modding Vista or something. Now let's go boot Vista and you'll notice that Vista is a lot slower. Um, Arrow obviously it still works but I, I, I really used to be a Vista fanboy and not anymore. 
um, since I've been using this. I have a ThinkPad Z61T. I run 7 on that. It's twice as fast as running um, twice as fast as running Vista and Vista really looks like crap now that I'm used to 7. Vista is not as transparent as 7 and I really don't like it. So now let's boot Windows Vista here and the first thing you're going to notice is the boot time is a bit longer. So we will keep watching this having lots of fun. It isn't as bad. I had a Dell Latitude C610 and I actually got Windows Vista on that. 256 meg of RAM, Pentium 3, 1 GHz, 20 gig, 4200 or 4800 RPM hard drive and it ran but obviously it was really really slow. And this is Vista Ultimate 32-bit Service Pack 1. And it, it's not a painfully slow boot time like maybe other PCs are. By the way, this resolution, if you're wondering, it's 1680 by 1050 on a 15.4 inch widescreen display. It's not high def, it's not a bright view. It's definitely bright enough and it's more than clear enough even though this camera may not show that. And anyways, let's open Google Chrome here kind of compare and we are going to notice it's going to take yeah quite a bit longer there. Let's go look at the Windows Experience Index here in Windows 7 Ultimate. It was a 2.1. Here it is a I think it's a 2.3. System there yeah it's a 2.3. Let's compare the sub scores here. 3.8 for processor, that's the same. 4.4 for RAM, that's the same. Uh, graphics in 7, it was a 2.1. Here it's a 2.3. Gaming graphics in 7 was a 3.8. Now it's a 3.7. And the hard disk in both is a 2 is a uh, 5.2. So, and obviously, Arrow does work here. And transparency and everything. So. This has been the HP Compact NC8230 running Windows 7 and Windows Vista dual booting here. I have a video on how to dual boot Windows operating systems, as many as your hard disk can hold and render, so check that out if you want. I've got Vista reviews and 7 reviews, so check out my channel. Please subscribe or please comment and thanks for watching.